Hello again and welcome back to the channel. We are doing my thoughts on the new Obercan costume. And okay, let's have a look at the regular card. That's the new one, yeah. Vampire Cleave, okay. So he's also a fighter class, just like the new Vivica one. The usual bonuses. Um, those are stacked if you have both. 829 attack, pretty good. Uh, 793 defense, nah, it's okay. And 1591, obviously those are going to get bonuses on top of them. So 829 plus 20% is another, what, 160 on top. So not, uh, not inconsequential. Deals 260% damage to the target and nearby enemies. Not bad at fast speed. Counter-attack with 95% for three turns. Again, not bad. And regenerate a monor moderate amount of a man moderate amount of mana for each counter-attack. The effect diminishes for consecutive activations in the same turn. Okay. So it's kind of hmm, kind of like a five-star version of Ferrant who also does damage and a fast speed. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. If you have an Obercan, I would definitely level and you get his costume. I would definitely use it. I would more likely to use that than any of the other costumes. Like this one, I think this one's trash. I didn't like it at all. This one, pretty good. Reasonable amount of damage for a season one hero and a pretty good secondary effect on it as well. Yep, those are, those are my thoughts. And as always, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.